intense, sweaty, full body, low impact, no jumping, shadow boxing workout. Let's go. Welcome, welcome to this workout. Today is the first workout of my new program called Make the Cut. This is a shadow boxing workout for weight loss. Are you ready? We start off with round number one. Six rounds in total, we start off with a jab. Now, if you are a righty fighter, we are jabbing with the lead hand, which is your left. If you are a lefty fighter, that means you are a southpaw, you are leading with the right. So right now, I am a righty. I am jabbing with my left hand. I'm turning my hands over, extending them all the way out. Notice I'm always moving, no matter what, staying nice and light on the feet. We are adding punches here, double jab. Give me two jabs now, two jabs, pop, pop. Good, extend those hands all the way out, staying nice and light on the feet. You got this, champ, let's go. One, one, uh-uh, there it is. If you need a cheat sheet, it's at the lower bottom corner of your screen. We are adding punches now. One, one, two is your jab, jab, cross. So in this workout, we are building our combinations every single round. We have a total of six rounds. We are still with that jab, jab, cross. Always be moving your feet. Always be moving your head. Always keep those hands up. That's it. If you are a total beginner to this, just stay with me. All right, I promise you will learn how to box. And if you are not new and you are advanced boxer, you know what to do. Make those punches count. Now we're adding a defense. Jab, jab, cross, slip. I'm slipping towards my rear hand, so I'm slipping inside. There we go. Jab, jab, cross, I'm slipping. There it is, there it is. That's it. I meant to say I'm slipping outside. Forgive my language. One, one, two, slip. That's it. Now we're adding the counter two. Jab, jab, cross, slip, two. Yep, that's it. Good, good work, good work, champ, good work. Come on, one, one, two, slip, two. So what you're doing is avoiding their jab and countering with the two. Now I'm gonna throw a body shot. I'm gonna throw a knee hook to the body. Make sure you level change, you use those legs, you rotate those hips, because that's where the power happens. One, one, two, slip, two, three to the body. That's it, this is a jab, jab, cross, slip, cross to the hip. Hook to the body, we're adding a rear body shot, another rear hook, that's that backhand. So it's jab, jab, cross, slip, cross, two hooks to the body, left and right. There you go, champ, there you go. One, one, two, slip, two, three, B, four, B. Yes, looking good, looking good. Less than 10 seconds away and then we're gonna drill this. So if you can't get it, if it's too much for you, don't worry, I got you right now. Let's focus on those body shots. Just the lead hook, the rear hook. This is your chance to make up for it, right? You just plant your feet, you dig, you dig, you dig. Hard, 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 hard. We've got 20 seconds. Good, that's it, that's it. Come on, come on. Push, rotate, push. Boom, boom, let's pick up the speed now. Give me a lot of power with speed. You've got less than 10 seconds. Let's go, champ, come on, you got this. We're about to hit our first full body exercise. No jumping, are you ready in three, in two, and in one. All right, I want you to give me pendulum lunges. Forward back lunge, forward back lunge, alternating the right leg and the left leg. Notice I step forward, I don't tap, I step back, and then I reset and I go to the other side. Your goal is to get as many reps as you can get in in 45 seconds. That's it, we are working that lower half, we are working our legs. I promise you, we are going to hit the full body today. Keep working, champ, you got this. You have less than 20 seconds. In fact, you've got 15 seconds to get as many reps as you can get in. Let those legs burn. Do you feel it, baby? You feel it? That's it, let those legs burn. This is where the powerhouse lies, all in the legs, the lower body. Get it strong in three, in two, and in one. Next. Beautiful job, champ. Let me know in the comment section how you are feeling, how you are doing, and share this workout with others. We are done with round number one. Let's hit up round number two in three, two, one. Let's go, baby. Round number two, start with the jab. Jab hands again. That's it. Now that you know what you're doing, let's start to pick up that pace a little. Good, turn those hands over, lengthen those punches. We always say, you know, you wanna push down that pipeline. Let's add. So we're gonna go jab, then we're gonna move, and then you're gonna give me two jabs. Kinda like round number one, but we are pausing in between. We are pretending like these are two combinations. We're not pretending, they are two combinations. So it's one as combination one. Then we're gonna build on combination two, one, one. Now we're gonna add a rear hook to that double jab. So jab, double jab, hook. 
turn those hips over. That's it, double jab, hook. That rear hook, that nice big looping right hand. If you are a lefty, it is your left hand. That is your dominant hand. That is your power hand. You wanna use your body to gain that strength and power. Good, turn those hips over. One, 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 four. Now we're gonna roll it. So we're gonna roll it towards the rear side. I want you to pretend that someone's throwing their hook at you and you are rolling underneath, evading, defending yourself, not getting hit, right? So it's jab, move, double jab, rear hook, roll it out, we're adding another rear hook. One, 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 four, roll four. Jab, 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 hook, roll hook. You're doing great, champ. And again, like I mentioned, if you are a beginner and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, don't worry, I've got boxing, um, beginner boxing workouts on my channel. All right, let's add a lead hook upstairs. One, 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 four, roll, four, three. So that is jab, double jab, hook, roll, hook, lead hook. When I say lead, that means the front hand. Good, let's keep practicing, let's keep working, let's rotate those hips, let's focus on staying in those legs, and we add on. Now we're gonna roll underneath the lead hook. So, one, 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 four, roll, four, three, roll. Cool, we counter and we add another lead hook. One, 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 four, roll, four, three, roll, three. This is your combination, bang, bang, bang. You got it, jab, double jab, hook, roll, hook, hook, roll, hook. Yes, you do your best that you can, that's it. In five, in four, keep working, in three, and two, and one. All right, I wanna go ahead and just focus on the roll hook. So roll underneath the rear, throw that rear hook for power. Boom, stay in those legs. We are gonna change it up soon. Get under hook, get under hook, get under hook. That's it, champ. Come on, baby, come on. Change it up. We're going to the lead side now. Hook, roll, hook, under, hook, under, hook. Use those legs. Boom, boom. In three, two, one. Amazing, let's move on. We're gonna walk it out in front. Walk to plank position. Push up, tap the one shoulder. Push up, tap the other shoulder. Walk it in, stand up tall. Keep working, we are not jumping today. This is low impact. I wanna get that full body, give me that upper body and core. Walk out, push up, taps, good. Take your time, wrist directly underneath the shoulders right over the chest, keep your core engaged. Try not to let the back sink in. You have 15 more seconds. We're almost done with round number two. Looking good champ, you've got less than 10 seconds. There you go, in five. Come on, four, keep getting those reps in. Two, and rest. Awesome, awesome job. Get a sip of water, towel off if you need to. Round two is done. I hope you are proud of yourself. You are doing great. I know that as your coach, I am proud of you. Yes, I am. Workout number one, here we are. Round number three, let's start with the backhand. Cross, cross, that's that backhand. Boom, turn, turn those hips. Two, boom, again, cross, ha, that's it baby, that's it, let's go, cross, turn those hips over, turn those hips over, bang, now we're gonna step into that cross, take that front foot, step in, gaining some space, right, closing the gap, yup, we're inching in, that's it, that's it, we're beating the aggressor here, we're using that power hand, right, now this combination, you may wanna jab first, and then you throw in that step in for power, but right now this is, Working on the combination, as far as our workout is concerned, I wanna build on this two. I wanna build on this backhand. Step into, that's it. You pay attention now, because we are going to be adding some footwork. So you're gonna step in two. I want you to step back, and then you're gonna circle out. All right, so you come in, you close the gap, step back, create some space, get out of the way. Step two, step back, roll out and you know how it is I duck a little too I move my head I try not to you know stay in the same spot right I duck I move I roll it out that's it I use my footwork I use my back foot right to circle out good now we're gonna add two jabs to this so step in two step back roll out and then jab jab right keeping my opponent away from me good I perhaps make some contact right Again, this is about just keeping myself um, super engaged with my opponent. 
All right, I'm not resting here. I'm throwing that double jab, and now I'm gonna add a power cross. So step two, step circle out, one, one, two. Now I'm gonna come back in for the kill. When I circle out, I'm gaining an angle. Good, now I'm gonna go one, one, two. Good, right down the pipeline. We are adding again here. Step two, step circle back, one, one, two. Now we add a lead uppercut, which is the five. These numbers all signify a, uh, a type of punch. Good. That five is the lead uppercut, the front hand uppercut. So again, step in with the cross, step out, circle out. Give me that jab, jab, cross, lead uppercut. We are gonna add another cross. Lots of crosses here. That's it, step in, cross, step, circle out, double jab, cross, uppercut, cross. Less than 10 seconds, we are gonna drill it. I like to leave the last 30 seconds to kind of work a little burn here. All right, here we go. I want two, five, two, the final three punches. Two, five, two, which is your cross, uppercut, cross. Turn, up, turn. Boom, bang, boom. I know, I love to make noises, so if you notice in some of my other workout videos, I do have a mic on and I kinda coach you through it, and you will hear me breathe heavy. You will hear me make some noise as I punch, because that allows me to create a little bit more power behind my punch. That's it, two, five, two. Less than 10 seconds, you've got three, you've got two, and one. Let's work that full body. We are working legs here. Squat, iso, tap. So we're gonna sit into the squat seat. Hold, tap out that leg, then stand tall. In, out, in, stand. Down, out, in, stand. Rep it out, baby, rep it out. Come on, champ. You got this, I know those legs burn. Let's go, let's go. I love working the legs. You wanna know why? Working that lower half means we allow our punches to get stronger. Because as you know, in boxing, it's not just about throwing arms. The whole body is involved, and that power is generated from the lower half and translates out through our knuckle. I want you to remember that. Boxing is full body, it's not just upper. In three, in two, and rest. Round three is done. Woo, that means we are halfway there, plus a little bonus at the end because that's exactly what I do. Let me know in the comments how you're enjoying this. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go on to round number four. One slip, now I am slipping inside, right? So I am defending their cross. Jab, I defend their cross. Good. Perfect. Good. Jab, slip. That's it. Now I'm gonna roll it under. So I'm gonna go jab, slip, roll it out. I am pretending that my opponent is throwing a two, three. And I am evading their combination. Jab, slip, and roll. Good. That's it. Looking good, looking good. Good, very good. Now we're adding another roll. So now we're turning this into a bob and weave. So it's jab, slip, roll it under twice. So here we're staying in the po pocket and we're weaving. When I say stay in the pocket, so our legs are planted and we're just dipping. Now we're gonna add a lead upper cut after that weave. So one, slip, bob and weave, under, under, boom, into that lead upper cut. Remember those numbers are at the bottom of your screen. So if you don't know what I'm saying, your cheat sheet is right there. <laughs> Jab, slip, bob, and weave. Lead uppercut. Just follow my coaching cues. You got it. Stay light on the feet. Always, always, always. Give me a little bit more hustle. A little bit more pack to your punch. A little more sense of urgency. We add a rear uppercut here. Adding the six. So now we're building this combination. Jab, slip, bob, and weave. Five, six. Everything's upstairs. Upstairs, when I say that, just means I am throwing my punches to their face. Up top of their Head. Good, let's add a lead hook. One slip, bob and weave, five, six, three. Boom, turn those hips up and over into that lead hook. Give me some power into that lead hook. I love my hooks. Boom, love throwing a nice power hook. What about you, do you love throwing hooks? What's your favorite punch? At the end of the workout, let me know. I wanna know what your favorite punch is. All right, let's add on. We're adding a cross, we're adding that back hand, we're adding more power. We're adding that dominant hand, that power hand. Give me that cross again down the pipeline. Upstairs, one slip, bob and weave, five, six, three, two. That's it, baby, that's it, let's go, champ. Come on, pick up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's add, we're ducking. One slip, bob and weave, five, six, three, two. We sit into that seat, we evade. One more punch after this, I promise. And we're gonna duck into a cross. One slip, bob and weave, five, six, three, two, duck two. Nice long combination here, less than 10 seconds away. Do the best that you can. 
good. We are going to drill it in three, two, and one. We're gonna go duck two, watch me. Sit into the seat, throw the duck, throw the two. Duck two, sit into those legs. Boom, turn, 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 turn those hands, turn those arms. That's it, turn those shoulders. Good, get low into your duck, right? Level change. You're looking good, you're doing great. Keep at it, you have five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Now I call these the touchdowns. Again, working those legs. Touch, turn, and rotate. Turn and rotate. Now I'm gonna go two on each side. One and two. Cross it over, touch down. We're going threes now on each side. Now your goal is to do the very best that you can. Keep adding one rep to each side. Why am I making you do this? Again, I told you that the lower body is involved when we throw the power. And what we're doing here is we're loading into the legs. That energy eventually will translate out and the energy passes through to our hands. Okay, do the best that you can. Let's go, baby. Let's go, champ. Come on. Come on, you got this. Burn it out, burn it out so good. Do the best that you can in three, in two, get as many reps. And in one, rest. Ooh, beautiful job. Listen, champ, if you're loving this, please tell the whole world about this channel and tell everyone about this program, Make the Cut Shadow Boxing for Weight Loss. All right, here we go. Round number five, we are starting with that lead hook. Man, I already told you that I love my lead hook. This is my favorite punch. What is yours? You will let me know in the comment section, right? Okay, we're gonna level change. Double hook, head, body. Okay, two hooks. One up top, boom, level change to the body. Now, if you are not new to boxing, right? How do you make this better, right? You tell me, you are an experienced boxer, right? You make this better by lowering your body, by really engaging those legs, turning those hips over. All right, now we're gonna add a rear uppercut to the ball. So, hook up top, body shot, body shot. Two double body shots. One is the left lead, hook to the body. The right rear uppercut to the body. Now, I say left and right because I am a righty fighter. Now, this is the opposite if you are a lefty fighter, right? Okay, good. So now we're going eight, three, three to the body, six to the body, and then we're just gonna duck it back or roll it back. What I want you to do is level change, create some space, so you're ducking it back, okay? And then we're gonna counter shot with a cross. We're gonna counter shot with the two. So we've gained some distance, right? We close the gap as we throw those body shots. Now I wanna gain some distance and go ahead for that head. Boom, power head shot. Two, power cross. So, hook to the head, hook to the body. Rear hook to the body, duck it back, two. Three, three, B, six, B, duck back, give me the two. That's it, babe, that's it, let's go. We are in the thick of round number five. I hope you are getting sweaty, I hope you are breathing heavy, and I hope that you are working that whole body. All right, we're gonna add something called the post. So after the two, we hold our opponent back, okay? Three, three to the body, six to the body, duck back, Two post. You pull that jab hand out for just a second. And what we're doing is holding our opponent back. We're framing. And we hold that opponent back because we're gonna throw that back and we're gonna throw another two. So that is your combination. Alright, hook to the head, a hook to the body, rear uppercut to the body, roll it or duck it back. Two post two. Cross, post, cross. Couple more seconds here. We drill the post. That's it, champ, come on. All right, here we go. Post two, pose two, hold two, frame two. You're gonna hear me say a lot of these words which really mean the same thing. It's about holding your opponent back and then countering with a power backhand punch. Beautiful, 10 more seconds, we're nearing the end. We have one more round. We're gonna go with a body exercise and then last round and then you go. All right, here we go. We are doing piece, beast, excuse my um, my pronunciation, my beast tap crab reach. So, we're gonna go ahead, roll it over. You're in this all four position. Knees, tap down, roll it back, you're in crab, you reach it up and over, reach it up and over. I don't care which side you roll it to, it doesn't matter, okay? Eventually those crab reaches are on both sides. 
So you hold your core in nice and strong. Let those knees tap the ground, holding that core in with full body control. Then you reach it back, up and back for some spinal mobility and extension. Less than 10 seconds away and you get to rest. And rest here. Beautiful, 15 seconds to rest. As I mentioned before, one more round. One more round, long combination. One more full body exercise into your bonus and you are done. All right, here we go. Round number six, now. One, two. Starting round number six with two punches. Jab, cross, bang, boom. Beautiful work, again. Bang, boom. Turn those hips over, right down the middle. That's it, now we're gonna add a block. We're gonna block with that lead hand. That's it, that's it. So you are blocking their back punch, one, two, block. If you are an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw, you are blocking their left, yeah, their right, rather. Good, now we're gonna go ahead and block with that rear hand. One, two, block, block, okay? Jab, cross, block, block. There we go, jab, cross, block, block. Looking good, jab, cross, block, block. Beautiful job, keep working this. Keep, keep keeping those hands up. Keep keeping that guard up. And now we're gonna counter with the three. So you're in the perfect position. You block, you block, you rotate the body a little bit. Have you ever heard of the term rolling with the punches? So you're kind of doing that with your block, right? One, two, down the middle. You roll with those punches, you throw a three. Now, from here, you're gonna step underneath and pivot out. So you have to use that front leg. One, two, block, block, throw the hook. Then you're gonna create this angle by side stepping and pivoting and you have to level change, get around your opponent. So this is an angle change and eventually we will counter. One, two, block, block, three, side step, pivot and we're gonna throw a rear body shot. All right, so one, two, block, block, three, side step, pivot, throw a rear uppercut to the body. Nice, let's do that again. Beautiful work. Uh-huh, that's how it's done, baby. That's how it's done. Let's go. One, two, block, block, three, side step, pivot, six B, roll. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Again. One, two, block, block, three, side step, pivot, six B. We add a three up top. Bang, boom. All right, beautiful job. That three is a lead hook, so you finish the job from that angle. There's nothing they can do about this. When you change angles, like there is just they're kind of toast at that point. They just don't know what to do to themselves. They have to get out of this position, right? And you're gonna make it very difficult for them by adding that lead hook up top. You're hurting them here. So one, two, block, block, three, side step, pivot, six, to the body, three, up top. Boom, bang, that's it. Now let's drill the side step. Turn it around, change the angle, give me that uppercut hook. Side step, turn around, good, again. Side step, underneath, do it again. Again, again, come on, huh, huh, six, three. Good, 10 seconds left. Boom, boom. Notice that level change, get under. Boom, bang, bang. Three, in two, and in one. All right, we're gonna take it to our abs now. I want you to go ahead, lay it on your back. Legs are up towards the ceiling, all right? shoulder blades off the ground. One leg is straight off the ground, the other leg is towards the ceiling, and you're adding crunches. So you're scissoring those legs. Try to keep those legs straight as possible. Really get that crunch. You're doing fantastic, beautiful job. Good, 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 20 seconds left. Go ahead, lift and lift, 15 seconds. That's it, lift those shoulder blades off the ground. Those legs are a few inches off the ground. The other legs up towards the ceiling. Less than five, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. This is for your abs in three, two, and one. Rest, guess what, baby? Six rounds are done, but you know what? We're not done just yet. Let me know in the comment section how you are doing. We are getting ready to do a little bonus round because that's how I roll. I love to give you a little bit work and to push you a little bit more into challenges. So here we are, just jabs, jab, stay in the pocket, jab. All right, this is where we get to work on certain drills and techniques. This is where we get to throw volume. Yup, jab, good, don't move, just, just stay there and focus on that jab. Now pick up the speed, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, jab, 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 burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. 
Burn it, burn it, burn it. Jab, jab, jab. That lead hand should be on fire. Shoulders on fire. Let's throw the two. Come on, champ. Push through that back hand. Turn and pivot that back leg. Let's go. Put that weight onto that front leg. Boom. There's an 80-20 rule when it comes to shifting our weight. Now, pick up the pace. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Turn, 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 turn. And burn out that back shoulder. Let's go. Turn those hands. First point, first two knuckles or points of contact. Good, 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 good. Now we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Bang, 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 bang. Burn it, burn it, burn it. That's what this bonus is about. It's about killing it, babies. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go one, two, one, two. Give me speed here. Give me speed, 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 speed. Let's go tuck that chin down. Come on, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe heavy. Yes, 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 yes. You got it, champ. You got it. All right, check it out. 10 squats. I want you to drop it like a top. Come on, no jumping, but it doesn't mean that we are not working. Let's go, give me those 10 squats. Go as fast as you can in three, two, one. Give me the lead hook. We're hitting up that lead hook, that three, three. Come on, turn. Boom, turn those torsos. Yes, now pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Boom, boom, boom. Turn those hips, turn those hips. Pick up the speed now. Let's go, eventually we are going into that rear hook starting now. Rear hook for power, rear hook for power. There we go, champ. There we go. Rear hook for power. Come on. Now, guess what? Guess what? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Kill it, baby. Kill it. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Not stop. Lead and rear hook. Lead and rear hook. Let's go. Give me volume, give me volume, give me volume. Guess what? Drop it down to the ground. Now it's push ups, 10 push ups. Let's go get them. Get them, get them, get them. Burn them, burn them, burn them. Do the best that you can. This is where you're supposed to feel like you're fatigued and you're failing the reps, and that's how it's done. Work those muscles, take it up. Lead uppercut, five, five, five. Come on, five. We're almost there, champ, we're almost there, five. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Give me that hustle, baby, give me that hustle. Five, now rear, six, six, six. Come on, champ, rear uppercut. Rotate, 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 rotate. Up, 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 pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Speed, 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 you can do it, you can do it. Now, guess what, five, six, five, six. We're eventually gonna pick up the speed and turn this into a shoe shine. We call this a shoe shine little flurries now. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Come on, pick up the pace as fast as you can. Come on, go, 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 roll, 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 roll. Drop it down, hold that plank. Hold it, hold it, keep it strong. Come on, you got three, two, and done. Woo, you did it, we did it. We are done, I can't wait to see you in workout two. Till next time.